Uh, Billy, let's bring in our next guest, local author Hans Berger. Hans, how's it going? Nice to Good. meet you. Hans, Hans you're, you wrote a book and it's called A Bridge to Cross. Yes, sir. What's it about? Well, um, it's exciting that I was able to get the published. I was excited to get the book published and I finally found a publisher after a number of rejects, which is normal for the, you know, of course, a first time author is tough. But um, we went through horrendous times World War II. I was only two years old, my older sister was nine, four of us kids, plus my mother. My mother hated Hitler's guts and she was very verbal about it, but she shouldn't, perhaps she shouldn't have done that, okay? And we had to flee during the, during the night. Uh, they were going to arrest her that night and probably send her to concentration camp. Okay, so you're German. Yes. And they're going to arrest your mom because she's being outspoken about Hitler? That's all it took. That's all it How took. How outspoken was she? Well, she told them, <coughs> told them the truth, that uh, Germany was losing the war. Uh, they listened to also enemy stations like BBC, which was illegal. If you were caught listening to BBC on the radio, <coughs> automatically you were shot. Really? So she denied that she ever listened to one. I don't know if she did or didn't, okay? But we had to leave, we had to, we had to get out of there. Okay, so <coughs> you, 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 you know they're coming. Oh yeah, Okay. You know. So your mom packs up you and your three siblings. Yeah, four, Is there, four is there dad around? Or? No, my dad was employed at the uh, university hospital in Heidelberg, he was a pathologist. So thank God he couldn't come. He didn't come. He couldn't go anyway because they would have shot him. Okay, any German man in civilian clothes, you were a dead duck. Okay, so I'm glad he stayed. But he didn't know if we were going to come back. We left. We were 800 kilometers away from him at one point in East Prussia. Thousand miles. Yeah, it's, it's so far away, and it's a miracle how we got back. Uh, my mother was. So, so, so you pack up in the middle of the night and you go. And ha how do you travel? What do you, we went on a train. Uh, there's a train depot, uh -huh. which was uh, bombed, but the Germans repaired it so it would accommodate limited travel. Okay, for for troops, primarily troops. So we got on that train and went east to her father's uh, place in in Berlin, and um, he we we didn't know, but he was a card carrying Nazi. Okay. And we could, he could not be trusted. Her father yes. was a Nazi. Yes. And he could not be trusted. We found out afterwards. They had no communication for a long time, okay? So, uh oh, maybe we should. Uh, other so, your move grandfather on. was a Nazi. Yes. Your mother is very outspoken Anti. against <laughs> Hitler and the yes. Nazis. They, they and the first place you go when you're on the run is to your grandfather's house. Yeah, and that which was a mistake, okay? But then. Did we, he turn you in? Uh, it could have happened, okay? So we got the heck out of there before it could have happened. So we kept on moving further east. Uh, my mother was born in Kustrin, uh, East uh, West Prussia, but she grew up in Königsberg, which is today's Kaliningrad, that's Russian now. And when the Russian troops came across the border, all hell broke loose, okay? It, they raped, they murdered, they did everything. And they called my mother, I mean, I'm getting excited, they called my mother the guardian angel. She saved hundreds of women from being raped and killed by the Russians. She approached them with no fear, and they cowered. They just laid down their weapons. Unbelievable. God gave her the strength when she needed it. Unbelievable. Wow. So miracles, so many miracles in this book, how we get back to the West. It make your hair stand up okay, when you read it. People said it's one of the best books they've ever read. They cannot put it down once they start reading the book. And it's real. It's, it's a real thing. Uh, I got a lot of information from my mother's journal, war journal she kept. I found that war journal towards the end when I got through with this book. I said, wow. When I read this, I didn't know it was that bad. I had no clue. I was only two years old. Then my older sister, who is still in Germany, uh, she told me a lot of stories, but not all what, what my mother wrote down. It's just unbelievable what, what occurred. And I give God all the praise. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today. We almost starved, we almost froze to death. So many miracles in this book. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna give away the book, okay? But you gotta read it. How'd you get to America? Uh, that's another interesting story. <coughs> Herr Neuberger, he was a, a German uh, doctor, and he was a Jewish doctor, and he immigrated before Hitler came into power to Denver. And my father was instrumental. He was also in Alzheimer research and brain research, and he did fabulous things. So Herr Neuberger heard about this and got in touch with, with our cousin Papa, okay? 
And he says, well, would you like to come to the United States? They wanted them bad, okay? So he sponsored us, then we came over here. So he sponsored us in case something would have happened to my dad, any of us, he would have been responsible for us. And he didn't even know us from Adam. What a guy. He didn't know us and he laid everything on the line for us. That makes me almost cry, okay? It's, it, this, this sounds like an am amazing story. Uh, I know that the book is for sale now on centervalleytalk.com. Yes. Uh, when, you were, when, you, when you're trying to get this thing published, what were, what were some of the people saying that were denying you? Uh, it was not uh, the genre they were looking for. It wasn't, it wasn't feel good enough? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it, it's just not. See, this book is written through the eyes of a child. It's very simple to read, okay, uh, but it ca captivates you, okay. And some say, well, um, I might regret of turning it down, okay. And it is normal for any first-time author to get your, it, it's normal. I had 60 to 70 rejects. And, but you've got to keep on plugging away. And I found Merida Publishing out of Britain. She says, this is a good book, and, and it just, the story deserves to be told, especially today when things are happening around the world. You know, it, it's horrible. It, it's horrible. And this is a wake-up call right here, this book. Well, you know, hearing you talk about this and then seeing you sitting right here with me just reminds me that it's just it's not really that long ago. Not really. The, no. the, 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 all these horrible things were happening, yeah. and then you look at our world today, and it's just not even that much better. A lot of atrocities you know? happening. You know, it's, so. it's Hitler was horrible, uh, but ISIS today, I think they're even worse. The atrocities they're committing terror. They're much more powerful than Hitler ever was. ISIS. It's amazing. Amazing. And you can they can get my book through all bookstores. Amazon, of course, Barnes & Noble online, uh, All Things Fresno at Warner Theater, she carries my nice. book. The three, uh, excuse me, the two um, sisters in, in uh, Clovis on, on Academy and Shaw, it's an antique store, mm -hmm. they're carrying it. Uh, Branches in, um, in Oakhurst, she carries the book, uh, I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, Majesty Bookstore, um, it's phenomenal, I'm excited. Okay, before we go, one last question. Who do you want to play you in the movie? How about you guys? Yeah, you, you, you. I like it. I'm, I'll, I'm hey, in. I'm hey, in. <laughs> get on a German uniform. You look like a man, I tell you. Like, like a Gestapo, you know? No, I'm just <laughs> like a Gestapo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hans Berger, he wrote this book, A Bridge to Cross. If you'd like to purchase this book, you can go to centervalleytalk.com and right at the top of the page it says bookstore and uh, support your local authors. Thank you very much, Hans. Thank it's you great, so much. Great, it was a great pleasure. Meeting you. I myself can't wait to read your book. Read it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, we're going to take a quick commercial break.